Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some news in the Bitcoin charts, but uh, I do just want to quickly say, guys, I am really looking for a long tonight. Uh, I know everyone's super bearish, all of this stuff, but as I will explain throughout this video, uh, there's a lot of things that could potentially mean that we bounce here uh, significantly. I'm talking about two, three, four, five thousand dollar $5,000 bounce for Bitcoin around this zone, and I will explain that later. But why did we dump? That is the question. There's always some news to accompany a dump here. Right. Although we did break structure, so you could probably uh, put it down to the TA as well. But uh, yeah, Mount Gox. Right. So if you don't know what Mount Gox is or was, uh, it is essentially or it was an exchange. Uh, one of the first exchanges that allow you to trade Bitcoin. They got absolutely obliterated. I think it was by a hack or something like that. Um, or they scammed or something like this. I can't remember the exact uh, news behind it. It was over 10 years ago. But uh, what happened was, uh, yeah, they lost a lot of people's Bitcoin. In fact, they lost 850,000 Bitcoin. Back then, wasn't really worth that much. Now, uh, it's worth billions of dollars, okay? Serious, serious money. Uh, and that is, uh, there was some news that came out today that essentially means that they have to start paying it back next month, okay? Uh, and that is, uh, is essentially... The, the gist of it, right? Uh, one thing I do want to say about this that a lot of people don't know, uh, because I have friends that were mining and trading back then on Mt. Gox that did lose money. What essentially happens in a situation like this is there's a there's something called a debt collector. If you don't know what that is, it's someone who buys up other people's debts uh, for 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 cheaper than they're owed, right? And then they will basically plead that case with the law until that debt is paid. Uh, for a debt collector, and this happened to a lot of my friends, this happened to a lot of people in the space uh, that were ruined uh, by this hack, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> these debt collectors have made serious, serious money chasing this down, of course, right? Uh, Bitcoin has gone up substantially uh, throughout that time, right? Over 14 years. So uh, yeah, this has happened to a few of my friends, but uh, yeah, th this is essentially what I'm talking about here. And what would you say say debt collectors do and let me know in the comments uh, when they do get this big like repayment of Bitcoin. Do they look at the uh, do they look at the the history of Bitcoin and see how much has gone up and expect it to go up more and keep the Bitcoin, or do they actually just sell it for profit, right? And they have made a serious serious amount of profit. You know, I'm just dribbling everywhere, but uh, yeah, I mean. I think personally, uh, as an analyst, as someone who owns businesses, as someone uh, who has been in the space for a long time, I think they probably sell some of it. I really do. Uh, it might even be a legal requirement that they sell it, right? Uh, so it's worth doing some research into this. I'm going to check it out this week just, just to know exactly what the laws are uh, on that. And I will let you guys know in a future video. But uh, yeah, I mean, if they are forced to sell it legally, then that is extremely bad for Bitcoin. Uh, I mean... We're talking billions of dollars off the market. I'm sure BlackRock will swipe it all up. But uh, yeah, I mean, it could cause a bit of a death wick scenario, to say the least. Talking about mid 50s to low 50s uh, for Bitcoin. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But uh, it's it's definitely a worry for the chart. If we break structure enough, there is the uh, there is the assumption that potentially we just begin a bear market again. And we wait for that supply shock to catch up, uh, which, yeah, it is a possibility. But uh, yeah, as a right Right now we are looking for our next trade. We're looking to potentially get in our explainer on the charts in a minute. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's talk about some on-chain real, real quick because it is Monday, right? So there will be new on-chain stuff. Uh, and as we can see, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, miners are a little bit scared right here uh, based on this news and they probably know it yesterday for sure, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, that we are seeing the dip in that electricity consumption which is not good. We're seeing uh, energy value down at 75k now. Not necessarily a bad thing. Again, if we get over that, we go super parabolic and it's free money for everyone. So uh, the lower this gets, the better, but we obviously want price to go up uh, soon, right? Uh, what else have we got here? If this thing is going to load, I want to see if this is red or orange right now. Let's just take a look. Okay, it's still orange at 63k. Uh, and if you don't know what this is, this is essentially um, a, an on-chain indicator that talk, looks at on-chain, looks at open interest, looks at real good variables to determine whether the macro for Bitcoin is bullish, right? Uh, and we can see here when it is green, absolutely bullish. Let's go. Okay, even in our most recent data. Okay, uh, but as of right now, it is orange and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is pulling back. And next week, if we are down in the 50Ks region, I don't think we will be. I actually think we bounce here. Uh, I think it's extremely likely 
extremely likely we bounce here uh, but yeah i mean i can't predict the market of course i can only trade it so uh yeah we'll be reacting to that accordingly finding profitable strategies and making the money anyway right so uh yeah right now as of yesterday this is orange so caution in the wind all of that good stuff uh, if we are looking at uh this order book here the liquidation heat map we're seeing a lot i'm talking a lot of people are short right now with very close liquidations so uh potentially yeah a bounce here makes sense really bearish news okay Okay, bearish across the boards it does make sense it does make sense that these market makers would just whip this up real quick and then liquidate everyone that's why i'm looking for a long real real quick oh i haven't set this up yet there we go beautiful stuff okay so if we're looking at the chart right now we can see we can see that uh yeah we did break structure last week as you can see there well not last week but uh, a few weeks ago uh, and uh yeah as of right now we are just resting on that three day volume weighted atr band uh, as we said in the last video here guys uh, we said when we hit this we will be looking to set up a grid bot strategy so what i'm looking for here is essentially a bounce on the short term okay something really really decent to come through on the short term. this looks disgusting dude this looks grim Looks grim, dude. But uh, yeah, what I will say is, um, yeah, I think a bounce is relatively likely pretty soon. If we do have a free fall event here, it's not a problem. We're not setting up our grid bot just yet because of that. Again, I want to see some kind of structure uh, form here and then a break of that structure towards the upside. As of right now, it is just down. It doesn't make sense uh, to be banging in uh, longs just yet. But uh, potentially when we reclaim the 7SMA on the hourly or the 7SMA on the four hour, depending on where that is right now, to take a look okay yeah 63 i think a little bit too high but we've got 10 minutes left on this candle so this will come down uh probably down to 63 some 62.8 that kind of area so we'll wait for this momentum to kind of wear off and then what we're going to be doing is looking for volatility all right and we're going to be setting up a grid bot layering in orders to the to the upper side to the lower side and then with the volatility we'll be filling those orders closing those orders refreshing those orders and making money if you did just join the video and you're looking at this right now i get it okay you just go back a little bit you'll you'll understand <laughs> but uh, uh yeah what we can say here what we can say here i've said that a lot this video but um yeah i mean it does look bad but once we reclaim this four hour volume weighted atr band you guys know the drill here i talk about this every video but uh yeah i mean that is a huge huge longing opportunity we can see it pretty much every time we hit it okay and this is a time where we're below it so i imagine when we reclaim it again we get a very very nice wave we're talking potentially 10 percent 20 percent here uh, once it does come through uh, and you can see here another example of that right so yeah we're, we're just going to be cautious here we're going to be waiting i wouldn't advise rushing into any positions here i will be letting the patreons know and i did update you free patreon members uh this morning about this whole situation so feel free to check that out but uh yeah i will be letting the patreon members know exactly when i go long uh, and stuff like that so uh yeah keep an eye on that we do have the weekly volume weighted atr band here at 52k and i imagine that will be a pretty decent support coming through here if we do look at the last run uh yes once we did have that major sell-off of the absolute bottom low swing here uh, we can see yeah we, we were hitting that weekly so uh, yeah just potential areas for bouncing here just gonna summarize right now just gonna summarize potential area for bouncing is obviously here okay it's also at 55 uh, six or oh, sorry we'll say 56k uh, where yeah the bottom of the bull market barrier is okay Sorry, guys, I'm super sick right now. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> really, really sick. But it's super important news. Normally, I wouldn't do the video, but uh, I just thought, yeah, it's, it's important to update you guys. I don't want you guys losing money. So uh, yeah, uh, if we are looking at this, yeah, we did get this wick down in the uh, the 2020 run or 2018 run, sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was absolutely at the bottom here. So this is essentially what we're looking for, a scenario like this. This is the daily chart. Okay, so we can come down, right? We can lose that four hour, okay? Uh, we can lose... The the, um, well, I mean, yeah, the three day is actually lower on, on the previous cycle. So even more reason to bounce around this area. But uh, yeah, I mean, look, we, we had here, right, the bottom of this bull market barrier. We had a bounce here, okay, in the middle. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, th this bounce is not a small one. Let me just show you the percentages on this bad boy. We're talking about 39% easy game, okay? Easy game on the 39. So uh, yeah, we will be keeping an eye on that. We will be uh, over the next day or so. It may even be uh, tomorrow morning, okay? But uh, as of right now, yeah, we are looking for a potential bounce. If we can reclaim some kind of structure here, uh, then uh, yeah, it will be a beautiful scalping long opportunity. But just be careful out here uh, as I do just try and get rid of all this. <laughs> Look at this stuff, dude. Look at this stuff. There we go. Get rid of it. 
get out of here. So uh, yeah, what we can say, as we'll say again, is that uh, when we do hit the one hour, the one hour, um, the the one hour, come on brain, come on brain, the one hour seven SMA, uh, there is usually a chance that we can have a little bounce down here for 1%. So if you are looking for a short and you're a little bit too scared to long, then uh, yeah, there is a potential uh, shorting opportunity there for a small 1%, okay? And this could get very volatile, so uh, just be cautious out here. Uh, and uh, this is not guaranteed. Of course, we have already hit this moving average many times on the way down, so it's probably a little bit weaker. But uh, yeah, I mean, breaking the lows, it does make sense uh, that we get some resistance there, of course. But once we get above this bad boy, that's really the time where I'm looking for a, a decent little long to come through. Really, all I'm looking for is a, a nice local low on, on like a four hour uh, to come through, something like this right but down here okay so if we can make a low down here okay then uh, I will be looking to set up a grid bot okay very easy stop loss as my grab driver my grab driver is calling me my food is here beautiful stuff but um yeah what am I looking at here? Yeah, we're looking at the 60K area. I do expect this to be a bouncing zone. It's also a super round number. Okay, it makes sense to bounce here. So many, many things are essentially meaning that we bounce here. But uh, we want to make sure we get the confirmation first. If this is more of a swan event where we do just absolutely obliterate, we don't want to be caught on the wrong side of that. So we want to wait for that local load to come through first on the four hour. Then we set up our grid bots. And then we basically essentially watch that bottom low area in which we, uh, if we break it, we exit the grid bot, okay? Uh, and then, yeah, ideally we make a high low and then we just essentially oscillate in this area for a little bit of time. Uh, as you can, as you, as you saw right previously uh, on this chart, uh, we can see that we do like to oscillate around the uh, the bull market barrier. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on that. But that is gonna be it from me, guys. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. I wish you all the best this week. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and uh, yeah, join us on Discord where there's lots of free resources as well. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, goodbye from me.